Hello everybody, welcome back to Garrett Shares. Okay, my name is Garrett and I'll share with you guys anything and everything. Okay, so first of all, I would just like to say a very very big thank you to my 122 subscribers that have been supporting my channel. Okay, so thanks to you guys, you know I can finally have my custom YouTube channel URL. Okay, so uh, this is actually very big to me, lah. You know, I, I mean I mean to some of you guys, you know, to many YouTubers out there, you know, they, they may feel that you know this is nothing, lah. You know, 100 plus subscribers. Okay, but to me it's a very really, really big milestone. Big smile, big smile, big milestone. Okay, I don't know why I keep saying smile stone, okay, but I guess because you guys making me smile, okay. So, thanks to you guys, you know, I can finally hit this milestone of mine, okay. So, for those who are new to my channel, you know, I really hope you guys actually give me your support too and to actually, actually drop a sub. Lah. So, what's actually going to happen is actually when I hit 1000 subs, okay, which is my next goal, I'll actually be doing a giveaway, lah. okay. So, the details are actually in my uh, Instagram, okay, but actually I'll drop more details when I'm actually nearing that goal, okay, so just to let you guys know what's, what am I going to give away, lah, okay, so actually when I'm going to hit 1000 subs, you know, I actually plan to give away one BB Voltage Booster Box, okay, and also one PSA 9 Charizard Slab from my collection, okay, so uh, just to thank you guys for actually supporting my channel, lah, so actually I really really hope that, you know, with your support, I can actually hit 1000 subscribers, okay, so please drop that sub, okay, thank you so much. So, uh, okay, so for today's video, right, I'm actually going to do uh, two things, okay, I'm going to share with you guys two things, lah. so uh, I, I mean, you guys will actually know what I'm going to share, lah. it's quite obvious, okay, so first of all is this one, so I'm going to share this, okay, the uh, Pikachu V Union box, okay, so this one just finally came to Singapore, okay, I think there's, there was a massive delay, lah. so this item actually took a very, very long time to actually reach Singapore, okay, and the next one I'm going to actually share with you guys is actually this one, okay, the Ultra Premium Collection, okay, so this one was also delayed and it's finally here, Okay, so I'll actually just share with you guys the content inside, you know, because I, I, I think many people have already done the opening, but actually I want to share with you guys more details on these products which you guys may not know. Okay, so uh, do stay tuned, okay? So let's go. Okay guys, so, you know, for the UPC, the Ultra Premium Collection box, okay, these are actually the four most important things in the box, like, you know, I think many people actually buy this box just for these four cards, okay, these four promo cards, so I'll actually be just talking on these four cards, like, because I don't want to waste time, you know, talking about other other things like, which are not that important, I feel, like, okay, so, uh, if I'm not wrong, I actually heard, you know, people saying that, you know, the metal cards like this one, okay, uh, they're actually saying that the, the condition is actually really, really, bad lah for some of them lah okay so if you're lucky you actually get a card that is actually you know good condition you know but if you're unlucky you know you actually have you know things like like it's just like whitening okay but in this case like goldening because if i'm not wrong this this card is actually a uh, golden base okay then i actually just put the blue color paint on lah okay so i've seen uh, some of the people's card you know in very very bad condition okay and then you know it's very it's, you know if you're actually paying a uh, retail price for it it's still okay but if you actually pay a markup price and you get a very bad condition one, uh, it's really really uh, hard to swallow lah. Okay, so this is actually uh pretty stressful lah. Okay, I would say. Okay, but actually you know the pr the cut is actually very very nice. Okay, so if you guys don't know, okay, these cuts are actually uh pretty thin. Okay, even though it's metal. Okay, so uh, I'll just want to share also that you guys actually can actually keep this in the mini snap, or you can actually keep it in a one touch. Okay, so they are not as thick as you think lah, and they actually fit nicely into a perfect sleeve. Okay, so uh. That's the kind of details I would like to share with you guys, like, just in case, you know, if you guys haven't actually buy this box and then you guys are thinking, you know, should I get this card, you know, or if I have it, how do I actually keep it, okay? So this metal card is really, really nice, okay? For me, uh, lucky, I feel uh, I I have one that the condition is not bad, lah, okay? So uh, just also to let you guys know, okay, PSA and uh, CGC are actually taking in uh, these cards to actually grade them. So you can actually send them in to actually grade these cards, these metal cards, okay? So I guess, you know, for my, I, I, I looked at it, la, it looks like a 9, la, okay, to me, but actually I wouldn't send for grading because grading uh, is very expensive, la, you know, you spend actually 2 to $300 dollars just to grade your card, okay, but if you guys don't love to have graded cards, you know, go ahead, la, just do send it for grading, okay, so this is the Charizard card, so it's really, really nice, la, okay, I, I mean the way they are, the texture and everything, you know, the, the weight, you know, is really, really nice, so, you know, if you guys, uh, don't want to pay the price for the UPC, I like, you know people are selling like maybe five to seven hundred dollars. Okay, just get the card lah. I know I'm sure many people are actually just selling the card itself. Okay, but let, like I say, you know if they're selling the card, the condition shouldn't be that great lah because they are all just opening just to get the perfect one. Okay, to actually get the PSA ten lah. Okay, so uh, if you guys are actually buying, you know just buy within your expectations like your budget lah. Okay, so next one is the Pikachu one. Okay, so this is actually my favorite lah. Okay, so. Uh, just to let you guys know also, you know, this is not the first time that actually Pokemon has done meta cards, okay? So, uh, especially for this Pikachu card, so in 2016, 
Okay, uh, Pokemon Japan actually have launched a full 24k gold Pikachu card. Okay, that looked like this lah. So it was 11 grams. Okay, and then I'll actually show the picture on the side, on the side lah. Okay, so you can actually do a comparison to see how the original gold card looks like. So I mean, if you say that's like 24k gold, okay, which is like 999.9 gold lah. Okay, that is actually a meta card. Okay, so actually 2016 they really had. They actually have really launched the meta cards, okay. So likewise, you know, I feel the, this is the first time English has actually been doing this meta cards, lah. Okay, it's a bit, it's a bit different style, okay. But that one is really, really nice, you know. So many people ask me like, hey, why I didn't get that, you know, that gold card, you know, in two thousand sixteen. Because in two thousand sixteen, you know, the retail price when it was launched, it was like almost two thousand US dollars. Okay, I, I, I just graduated, lah, and I didn't have that money to buy that kind of card. So looking back now, I, I would have borrowed money to buy, lah. But too bad, lah. Okay. I really missed that chance. So, you know, if you guys know, you don't know, okay, now you know, okay. This is not the first time Pokemon have actually done meta cards, okay. So, that one is actually more worth collecting because that is like pure gold, you know, 11 grams of pure gold, okay. So, uh, okay, the next is this one. So, this gold cards are uh, actually, uh, it's, it's really, really nice, okay. I have, to, I have to say it's really, really nice. But one thing I actually, you know, don't like about these gold cards is that the, the 25th anniversary stamp is just, way too big lah okay it's really crazy you know just i think they're just very scared like nobody know it's the 25th anniversary okay because this stamp uh, is really bigger than the normal 25th stamp okay and i don't know why they have to put such a big stamp lah i mean it's really too much lah i feel okay so uh if you guys are actually watching this you know and you guys agree you know do drop a like and a sub because i'm sure many people do agree with me that this logo is too big okay same for this pokeball so this Pokeball card, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's just the normal Pokeball card, but it's in gold, lah, okay. But like I say, you know, this 25th stand, too big, lah, really too damn big. Lah. I don't understand why, okay. But overall, I say, you know, these cards are really, really nice, okay. So people are actually selling these cards separately as well. You know, if you guys just want the promo card, you can just buy these cards, okay. You don't need to actually buy the whole box, okay. Unless you want to keep one sealed, lah, okay. Okay, but then, you know, for... 25th anniversary, actually, personally, my feel is that I feel uh, these cards are really, really worth collecting. Uh, okay, if you guys, you know, really love Pokemon, uh, like how much I love Pokemon, you know, I really feel you guys should at least get one set of these promo cards, okay? Because these promo cards are really, really nice. Just look at the, the shine, uh, you know. Just look at it. You know, it's re really, really heavy, okay? So I guess, you know, it's really, really worth collecting. Uh, at least one, having one set uh, would be swell, lah. Uh, Okay, that's why I actually open it up and then intend to display these four cards. Okay, so uh, that's for the UPC. So one more thing actually I want to share is also uh, so recently you know my twenty fifth anniversary Japan promo card actually came lah. You know I managed to hit one Charizard. I was very very lucky. So I don't want to show you guys. Okay, so okay here it is. So this is the English one. Okay, the English twenty fifth celebration Charizard, and then this is the Japanese one. Okay, so. These two are essentially the same lah. I know one is just Japanese, one is English. Okay, but if you look at it closely, uh, you can just tell the amount of effort lah in the card. Okay, and I really really feel you know they are they are like twins. You know, just that one of the twins just knows how to dress up really really well. You know, and the other one just just can't be bothered lah. Okay, so you know for this twenty fifth celebration, twenty fifth anniversary, you know I I really love the Chinese the, the the Japanese one more. Really really I really really love the Japanese one more. And I feel the English didn't really put much effort into it, lah, which is really really sad lah, because I would expect them to actually put in more effort. Just just look at the difference, lah, these two cards. You know? And then you can tell naturally which card is nicer. Okay? And I'm sure many people will actually feel that the Japanese one is really really much nicer. Okay. Now one more thing to note is also uh, I, I see many people actually collecting Charizard cards, you know, many people are actually stocking up on these cards, okay? Which I feel uh it is Yes, it's Charizard lah, you know, it's very, very popular, you know, but it shouldn't be the one that is worth the most for this set, okay? If you guys are actually thinking Charizard is the most valuable, the most treasured one, I for this set lah, I think you guys are you guys are tripping lah, okay? Because, in my opinion, I feel these cards are actually second lah. So, so who's first, you know, you may ask, right? So, you know, first, actually, I think goes to Umbreon lah, okay? So, if you guys don't know okay umbreon gold star can only be found in uh, pop series 5 for the english one okay 
and the chances of hitting it is like 1 in 40, I think 1 in 40 packs, you know, which is really, really difficult. And the Ambion Gold Star was a non holo la. Okay, so Ambion Gold Star is really, really expensive, the OG one, okay. So if you guys go and search on eBay, you know, a PSA 7, you know, easily 6k US dollars, okay. And this is the time, you know, they finally done a reprint, you know. So many collectors, you know, you guys can actually never ever get a chance to actually touch the Ambion Gold Star. Okay, a Charizard I think is really really easy to come by. Even in 2016 evolutions, you can easily get one. But the Ambion Gold Star is like, you know, you want to see it in person is really really difficult. And that's why I feel, in the future, this card will actually uh, be more valuable uh, than the Charizard card. Okay, because of the history of the OG card, is they are not going to do another reprint of it Ambion Gold Star for sure uh. So if you guys want to keep, you know, I think this is really much more worth keeping uh, than Charizard. Yes, yes, the Charizard is really, really nice, okay? The Charizard card is really, really nice. But in my opinion, you know, I see, because I see many people investing in it, uh, you know, personally, I'm a collector, you know, I don't do investing in Pokemon cards, okay? But I see many people investing in, po in this Charizard card, you know, wow, they're buying like 12 of them, 20 of them, that's keeping a lot, a lot of them. But I don't think it's worth, uh, I mean, in future, I think probably the Umbreon will be much more, more collectible, uh, okay? Because it's harder to come by. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's my, my views la, on this. La. So I don't know whether you guys agree or not, okay. But then, yep, this is my personal take la, on these cards, okay. So i uh, actually move on to the V Union now, okay. Okay, so for the V Union, it actually comes with uh, this big card here. And then it also comes with, you know, these four cards la, that actually is part of the big card. Okay, just that they split into four small cards, la, okay. Let me try to arrange it, okay. Uh, yep. Okay, it looks like, I think it's like that, yeah. Uh, yep, yep, okay. So, you know, uh, many of you guys, you know, might not know how to actually keep these cards, lah, okay. So, I'll actually show you guys, you know, what do I actually use to actually keep these cards, okay. So, for big cards like this, you know, these big ass cards, you know, or maybe cards like that, you know, you can actually keep it like this. So, this is what I've done with the Japanese one, lah. The V unit for the Japanese one. So, I actually kept it inside this top loader that's this size la. so this size is actually an A5 size top loader okay so uh, I'll actually show you guys uh, where do I actually get it from la, okay so I actually got it from uh, it looks like that okay it looks like that la. so it's only a dollar and 15 cents okay so I actually bought it from popular la, which is a stationary shop in Singapore okay so I actually use this to actually keep my big cuts and also this B union cuts okay so it looks like that la. it's A5 size okay so it's a bit bigger so if you guys are actually wondering you know uh, you know uh, what else can you use for it? I actually use this A5 size top loader to actually keep this also. Okay, my stamps lah. For my stamp sets, okay, which was in my previous video. Okay, so it actually, it actually has extra space lah, which is good lah, this extra space. So, you know, if you guys are wondering, you know, uh, how do you actually protect your big cards and stuff like that, you guys can actually try out this A5 top loader that I'm using, okay? So it's really, really nice lah. Okay, so this Pikachu V Union card, you know, is actually four cards, okay? So, uh, in the past, they used to do two cards, la, you know, they join two cards together, become one big card. Now they actually do four. So I, I hope they stop at four, la, because four is really a bit too much, really, okay? But this Pikachu card is really, really nice, okay? Especially this this one. Because if you guys notice, they've actually took, you know, uh, all the Pikachus from the old Pikachu cards, okay? And then they actually put it in together into one big card, la. Okay, so this is really, really, really nice. And I really, really love it. La. That's why I actually bought this Pikachu. I mean, I'm a Pikachu card collector, so I wouldn't miss this out. La. And, I actually, and I actually didn't know that it actually comes with this Professor Burnett card. La. Okay, so uh, I, I found it inside the box. You know, I, I think it should come with it. La, okay, But just in case if it doesn't, then I don't know. I, I don't know la. So if you guys actually bought this V Union box, you know, I, I'm sure inside should have this Professor Burnett card. Okay, so actually the v, this V Union actually comes with some packs, okay? Four celebrations pack, one darkness and bliss, and one better styles. Okay, so uh, I'll just open it, guys. Quick one, uh, okay. And then we see what we get, uh. If you get something, it's good. If not, then then too bad, uh. Okay. So let's take my lucky scissors, <laughs> my lucky golden scissors. Okay, and then let's start to play the packs. Okay. So for celebrations, I've actually really completed the master set la, okay. But then you know it doesn't hurt to actually open more la, okay. So uh, yeah, code for you guys, okay. If you guys want, okay. Any one side, okay. Let's see. So uh, let's see what we get. 
Okay, nothing. Oh, Professor Research. Ah, I got so many of this Professor Research. I think I really got like four of it. Okay, but okay, like, it's a full art card. Like, I wouldn't complain. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, Rocket Zapdos. Okay. Okay, another useless card. Oh, yeah. Nah. This is the code for you guys. Okay. Okay, come on. Plus two more packs to go. So, actually, if you guys haven't actually bought this V Union pack, uh, this V Union box, I, I feel it's really, really worth getting now because this. Pikachu V Union card is really really nice. Okay, and I feel that you know for collection wise, having one set, I think it's okay lah. It's okay. It's good to have at least one set, I guess. Okay. okay the code for you guys. Okay. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Last pack. So actually, like I mentioned, uh, if you guys uh, haven't actually gotten your your cards yet, you know your your classic cards, you know, go for the Jet one. Uh. the Jet one is really really much nicer. Okay, I think the English one is is good to have one set. Okay, because I mean the English one is what you guys can really understand uh, You know, if you guys look at it, you know, you guys you know what you're looking at. Okay, but I feel okay the code. Okay, uh, okay. but I feel the, the the Japanese one is really much much nicer in terms of design. Oh, I got one. Oh, surfing Pikachu, and then the last one. Oh, rockets at mean. Okay. Uh, okay lah. Quite shit lah, but never mind lah. Okay. So, oh yeah. Anyway, for surfing Pikachu and the flying Pikachu, I I saw people actually posting they have like variants of the holo shifting lah. So those are really really cool. So if you guys you know, you know want to keep error cards, those are the one that you should look out for lah. So you know if you guys are also wondering why am I not opening the packs for my Ultra Premium, I actually opened it now because I really couldn't help it. Oops, I really couldn't help now. So I actually opened them already, and I really got quite quite bad hits now. So yeah, actually that's why I really that's why I never show now because I already opened it anyway. Okay, let's see whether is it a, oh oh green code. Okay, but here's the code card if you guys want it. Okay. Okay, nothing. Okay, last pack. So once again, you know, uh, thank you guys for actually watching my video. You know, I really hope you guys actually enjoy watching my video, lah. Okay, oh, it's really very hard to cut because I'm actually looking at tr looking it through the through the uh, the, the camera, lah. Sometimes I misalign my eyes. Okay, darkness and blaze. Ah, green code. Okay, lah. Oh yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Hey, ah. Uh, yeah. Is the code okay? Oh, I have something. Oh, Grim Snow V Max. So it's funny, uh, Sometimes you got a green code, but you still get a hit, uh. So that's why I, I mentioned, you know, in my previous videos, you know, uh, if you get a green code, don't just throw away your cards or just you know ban it or what, lah. Uh. Cause sometimes you know you never know, lah. Uh. Then for this case, you know, I actually hit a full art card. You know, it's top, it's textured also. Can you imagine if it's a Charizard and then I just throw it away? Yeah, but in this case, it's not a Charizard, like, it's just a Grim, grim Snar, like, okay? but better than nothing, like, okay? it's really quite nice also. So, okay, thank you guys so much for actually watching my videos, you know, I really, really hope you guys enjoy uh, this sharing, like, okay? So, uh, if you guys haven't dropped a sub yet, please do drop a sub, okay? I really, really appreciate it, okay? Like I mentioned, you don't want to hit 1,000 subs, you know, I actually start doing the giveaway, like, I'll give out more instructions on how to join the giveaway, okay? So, if you're looking forward to it, you know, do share around with friends, you know, ask them to show some support, you know, and... Let's go, route to 1k, okay? Thank you so much for your time. See you guys again. Bye-bye.